Good morning, happy cooking, good afternoon, and in case I don't see you, good evening. So today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious fried rice with leftover whatever you have. So very simple, I'm going to use the 12 inch gourmet skillet. And of course, you know I love habanero, so I made my own habanero sauce. Thank you very much to my sister that uh, sometimes I, I get little ideas from her. She, uh, she loves making habanero, she loves hot sauce. And I love hot sauce, so it's like, she told me, hey, you're gonna make this habanero. I was like, oh, I'm in love, trust me. Okay, so what I have is like whatever I have in my fridge to, so that needs to go, we're gonna put it in here. So number one, do not preheat the pan, not yet, okay? Wash your hands, I already did all that stuff. We're gonna do, um, I have some bell, little bell peppers here. If you don't have bell peppers, it doesn't matter. Like I said, I'm only using stuff that I have in, um, I'm gonna bring it closer that I have in my fridge. So number one, let's chop this up. So it's easy for you to see right here. I have these little peppers. So this is not your regular fried rice, okay? So this is my own whatever I can find in the fridge, okay? And this is what I found and this is what we're going to cook. So chop it up. I know I could have it already chopped, but that's not how I work. I work, however, you know, impromptu. If I see something, to me, it's like, ooh, I can make something with this. So, get the little peppers in there. To me, I love color, anything that has color. Hence, all my colorful dresses and colorful glasses and colorful everything. So just throw those little bell peppers in there. Then I found a lonely shallot. Shall I? It's shallot. We're going to uh, put it in there too. I really love shallots. I call them shallots. Some people call them shallots, but whatever. Little cousin from the onions. They're related, but it's so much tastier than a regular onion to tell you the truth. It's like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's sweet. It's, uh, it's just different. It's different and it's delicious. So, okay. So let's get rid of the, the little thingy there. By the way, I had a big cookout last night, a lot of cooking. I did a roasted filet mignon that was out of this world. So, okay, so let's cut this. I made salmon, roasted potatoes. I made a delicious spicy grilled chicken. It's no end, you know, when you have a lot of food still in your fridge. Good thing I don't go shopping, someone else does. Okay, so the shallot goes in there <clears throat> and then of course I found some leftover carrots from my husband making a salad so I'm going to put these little guys but I want them small I know I could use the machine but seriously I don't want to pull a machine just to do this little job so go forth see that's easier so do a little cubie. Okay, I can't get fancy with it because it's only half a carrot, so let's put it in there. We're gonna sa saute all of this. So I have a purple carrot, same thing, cut it in four. And just chop. Look at how beautiful this is. So it's gonna be like a perfect little fry rice. Okay, oh, look at that, it looks like Pac-Man. So this is a purple carrot with yellow. Big fan of Lakers, probably this carrot. Okay, put it in there. And now I got some leftover smart dogs. I don't know how smart they are, but anyway, they are from, uh, they're uh, vegan, vegan hot dogs. So my husband doesn't know I'm cooking his hot dogs. That's okay. He better have my fried rice. So that's three hot dogs. And of course, if you don't have vegan hot dogs, then you don't put anything. You put little bits of pieces of meat. Okay, so that's that. So now we bring it to medium. Get rid of all these little things. And then I'm gonna show you how to fry the fish too, because I have leftover fish from last night. 
add an extra piece, so I'm gonna fry it today. Okay, so let's add a little bit of olive oil. About four tablespoons. And then I'm gonna use some, like about a tablespoon of uh, sesame seed oil. Great combo, smells delicious. Turn it on to medium high for fry. Let's add some black pepper. Okay, once I add the rice, I'm gonna add a little bit more. <clears throat> so you're gonna get to see all of this in action. This is beautiful. And so let's flavor up the all of this with a little bit of five spice. So it's got, you can make your own five spice. It has like uh, five, star, uh, five star anise, which I absolutely love. Uh, um, cloves, cinnamon, fennel, and pepper, all the things that I really love. So you can, you can make it on your own. So you don't need to, uh, you don't need to go and buy it. So I have this for quite a long time, so I'm using it, but prior to that, I was making it at home. So it's good to go. So I have some frozen peas that I'm going to put, and I have some frozen corn because I also have that in the fridge. Not necessarily that you need to put it, but like I said, this is like a fried rice, whatever you can find. This is my habanero sauce. I'm just gonna put like a little teaspoon. I like spicy because spicy, you know, makes my blood circulate a little bit better. You know, truly, if I get a headache and I, or a or migraine headache, the first thing that I do is I put a little bit of chili powder under my tongue. In fact, I bought the chili in a liquid. You can buy it at the, at the health food store. But truly, what I like the most is actually the chili powder underneath. Because I do get sometimes migraine headaches. I never used them, but now, I guess as you, as you get older sometimes, things just show up. So, so give it a nice little mix. You know, so everything is flavored. There is that uh, glob of of uh, habanero. And so of course you have to have some cooked rice. So from the day before or from earlier today, I have it from the day before, okay? So now I'm gonna add my, uh, my frozen corn. Like I say, I have frozen corn, so I'm putting it in there. And uh, I'm going to add my frozen peas. I love peas. That's already starting to look delicious without even the rice. This will be like a yummy delicious. Okay. So throw it frozen, no need to defrost. Just throw it in there. Okay, then let's get into the rice. Get a I have my, my cooked rice normally, I would have put garlic, but this is already a garlic rice from last night that I didn't serve. So bring a couple of spoons. You know, not a lot of people will be eating this, so. And get a fork and then you can break the rice with that. Or you can just use your big spoon. So start breaking the rice in there. And I'm gonna use tamari sauce instead of uh, soy sauce because tamari is uh, gluten-free to begin with. And also, um, it's less salt. So add a little pepper. White pepper will be amazing if you have it, but I don't have white pepper. And I don't feel like going out shopping. I just use whatever I have here. Add more of the five spice. See, this is almost done, so I'll have to make some myself. And then let's use a little bit of that sesame seed oil on the top. Bring the tamari sauce. Not tamarind. Tamari. T-A-M-A-R-I. I love this stuff. You can use uh, liquid amino sprags if you like to. I like to buy high quality soy sauce. 
I never knew that soy sauce had uh, gluten in it. So there you have it. So you can use little bits of pork or bacon, little pieces of chicken, even fish, whatever you have left over, shrimp. You know, if you have frozen shrimp, you can add frozen shrimp in there. But this is an easy, like, late breakfast type of uh, meal. So just keep on, I'm gonna lower it because I had it at medium high just to raise the, the heat. And then let me make some eggs so we can throw the eggs in there. But I'm gonna let this rice settle to continue to cook. But I'm gonna show it to you so far what we got in here. You'll be so happy because this is the simplest way to make a quick little fried rice. So let me get um, um, handles and I'll show you. Always turn it off before you show it. I don't want to be burning my dress. So you see that? That looks beautiful. It's called hangover food too. Not that I'm hangover. Okay, so put that on the back burner. No pun intended. Back burner. And now what I'm gonna do is, before I make the eggs, I'm going to make the fish. Because the eggs, I'm gonna put that there at the last minute. But you see how easy that was, that fried rice? So just continue to cook. That's why you saute the carrots and all that other stuff because otherwise it'll be too crunchy. And I'm gonna add a little bit of, I love having uh, cilantro on the top, it's so yummy. Okay, let's get to this other thing, the fish. So to make the fish, very simple. I wanted a crispy fried fish. That's what I'm craving, crispy fried fish. So I have so far here a piece of salmon. Okay, I love salmon. I only love wild fish, no other fish. If it's not wild, it's not worthwhile for me to eat it. It's gotta be wild. Okay, so first we're gonna score the fish. And I don't really like to get the smell of fish on my, on my cutting board, so I always put a piece of fish or chicken or whatever I'm cutting. I like to put a little bit of uh, wax paper in there. And every time I touch meat, I have to have the gloves because I don't want the meat in my hands and uh, I don't want it to smell like fish. So take a beautiful piece of fish. See that? So now I already cleaned the back. Like usually it's already come clean, but sometimes they still leave some of the scale. So take some of the scale out. Use a very sharp knife. And uh, this is not on yet. I'm gonna preheat it. Preheat it to medium, medium heat. Actually, I move it out of the way, all the way to the just so you can see, I'm, I'm sure that you've seen that before. So just take, like, that should not be happening. Let me see if this one is. That's better, see? Makes a difference. A little bit. Okay? Just like about uh, a quarter of an inch incision in there. I sharpened these knife yesterday, but I also used them. There you go. Normally it should be one incision when they're like really, I think the end is very sharp, but the middle, and not too deep. Okay? So that's scoring the fish. So we score the fish. So you see that? Okay, now, next, you need to put a little bit of sea salt in the little crevices. I'm not gonna go crazy with it, so just go in the crevices, especially salmon, it's not really salty, you would think, right? Salmon's in the ocean, it should be salty, it's not. Okay, a little bit of uh, salt, 
And this is like a little bit rough uh, sea salt. I love sea salt. And then we are going to put some black pepper. All right, then flip it over. I know I didn't want to touch it, now I gotta wash my hands, thing. Otherwise, I'll be fishy, fishy. Back, salt and pepper, both sides. And now, just move it out of the way. And I'll bring my, that's on low, that's perfect. This is already for heating. Turn that off. Bring it here. You notice I take always the handles off when I'm going to cook. So now this is already preheated and how do you know I can feel the heat I can see the heat but I'll show you with a little bit of sprinkle of water so there you go that's perfect heat so whenever you see that the water doesn't evaporate it just looks like a little bead look at that like a little mercury steely bead that's how you know that it's perfectly heated that's that water off now I'm gonna lower it to medium. I don't want my oil to smoke. And then just add about a tablespoon or two. And then just bring it all to, you know, to the sides evenly. And then put the skin first. And it's okay, you can press it. You can press it a bit, because otherwise, you know, this thing will curl. So you have to press the skin, so not only it will get crispy, but also, and keep it at medium high. So press it, so that way, the, the, the skin will get really crispy, and also it doesn't curl. Salmon is something that you don't need to cook for a long time. You can, like literally, you can eat it raw, okay? Put the paper away, throw it away. Okay, so just give it a, a good uh, five minutes on the one side so it's like really crispy and really brown. And before I make the eggs, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that I take care of this. And then we're gonna get some lemon slices. Last night I made this salmon. It was with a wasabi mayonnaise. It was out of this world. No need of oil. I'm gonna take just like a little wedge. That's already looking beautiful, see? No need to use like a lot of oil. And so if you notice, I'm gonna turn this off for a second. If you notice the edge is already starting to get changing color, that's when you know, okay? That's when you know that you're in the right place. I should have used a, a big gourmet skillet. Oh, it's looking beautiful. You notice how it left? Really nice? Keep it at medium high. Keep it at medium high. Because medium high for fry. And I'm going to get my butter ready. I mean, there's so many possibilities to this fish. But I want to do a little bit of butter on the top. And want it really crispy. So keep pressing it. Keep it a little bit higher heat. Next time I'll just cut the little tail so it, it's perfectly. I figure it'll fit onto this, but I miscalculated. But that's fine. I want it really nice. Nice and crispy. So by the time I flip it to the other side, it's only five minutes. So give it about 
five minutes on the one side, and then about uh, five minutes on the other. So it should not cook for a long time. Okay, so grab your spatula. And look at this. Turn that off. Look at how beautiful. And not a lot of oil. I mean, literally, I used to teach people to spray it with, with, um, with uh, Pam, like Pam spray, or then those uh, oil, oil, olive oil or oil spray. But honestly, I prefer that you use butter or oil before you use spray because those sprays are toxic. So honestly, don't. It's safe. Do not do not use spray on any of your of your cooking. It's bad for you. So this is almost done. So now I'll do. I'll take a little bit of butter just to give it a nice flavor. Just glaze it on the top and put some underneath just so it'll have a really buttery. This is like gourmet style. And I'm gonna turn it off. And I'll show you in a moment how beautiful. And you serve it like this. You can serve it over rice. You can, you can make it into smaller filets. But this fish is done. Look at how beautiful. Okay. So you got the butter in there. So just let it rest there. It'll be perfect. And then the last one is the eggs. I'm going to use another 10 inch gourmet skillet. Always turn it to medium low. Low. Okay. And by the way, you need to do this. So it's like a lemon butter at the bottom, okay? Okay, medium low so the butter will melt. And we're gonna use coconut butter on this. Um, eggs, let's do three eggs. And actually, let me bring it here so you can see it better. And this is a, a, a lower heat um, burner, so this time I'm gonna make sure that I use the right burner. Some burners are a little bit slower, and it's a little bit low as well. So I need a fork to whip it up. Okay, let's get some coconut oil. As you know, coconut oil is my favorite, very nutritionally charged. I don't need to tell you this, but it's great for burns, great for uh, sun tanning. So take one tablespoon. Great for really bad skin, like psoriasis and any any type of bad skin. If it's a little too much. Do not put it back in the in the pan. Use it for your body, for your hair. I use coconut hair, coconut oil on my hair this morning. So can you see that? So as soon as it's melted, I am going to turn it to medium. You know, if you need a little bit more oil, do that. Sometimes I keep it at low. And then just before I pour the egg, I'm gonna turn it to medium. So right now I'm keeping it at medium low. I'm ready to pour. Okay. Nice and fluffy. Turn it all the way to medium now and pour gently those eggs. Okay. And make sure that you use the handle, the same handle from my fish. The key is, kind of like the salmon, you just wait till it becomes um, a little bit uh, firm on the sides, and then you need to use a spatula. So, the idea is when you're making eggs, don't be in a hurry to like flip the eggs or start scrambling the eggs. What you're looking for is a little bit, you see this thickness here? 
and then just bring it back. That's the key. It's a, it's a, it's a little bit of a, a tip. But look at this. Well, it's like a rocking. Okay. The idea is to wait till it gets firm again. Because people go like, oh, I stick my egg. So why are you sticking them? You don't need to. You know, it's just a matter of a little bit of a, of a technique. And the technique is start at medium low, put the butter or the coconut oil, never spray. And then the idea is just like that. Make sure that it comes to, uh, that as soon as you, you whip it, you, you scramble it, you pour it gently and I mean, immediately turn the medium just before you pour it and then you'll have like the perfect eggs. I mean, they're so perfect that I can maybe even flip them. Ah. There you go. I flipped it, there you go. But look at how beautiful those eggs. You know, they're like a French kind of style. I like it when it has no burnt. I don't like burnt eggs. I like beautiful, like yellow, beautiful colors. So that's it. See? And if it looks a little bit wet in the pan, then that'll be perfect on the plate. So turn it off and uh, let me show you the program here. You can put the eggs on the fried rice if you like, but you can also do this. My fried rice is ready. Put the little vegan hot dogs. That's the little fried rice. Then you take some of the egg. And then just break it on the top. So then you can take your fish, leave this over here, and let's get a fork. Perfect. Very perfect. And uh, what is my thing? There you go. Look at how moist the fish is. Absolutely gorgeous. The eggs are perfect and your fried rice is right there. So now I'll just take a little bit of black pepper on the top. Uh, sprinkle it with a little bit of cilantro and ready to serve. So thank you very much for watching. This is your flexitarian friend, Jael Tanti. Until then, have a happy, healthy, and wealthy day. Go make some food. You deserve it. Ciao. Hey, but remember to share. Remember to like. Remember to host a watch party with your friends. And uh, if you want to host a virtual show, this is the latest thing for us. I, I wanted to remind myself. We are entering people who are having a virtual show in the comfort of their own home. Basically, you just watch us do the show just like what you did right here. But it's more, no, not so much about the recipes, but we tell you more about the cookware. As long as that you, show, you show some interest and you wanna watch the whole, like the whole show with us, then you are eligible to get a free gift. Can you imagine that? We have to do whatever we can to start get into people's homes either through your phone through your computer so you can learn not only how to cook delicious fast like foods at home but also you get to get some free gifts and you get to learn about the best cooker in the world so sign up for it send me a little a little private message and i can personally myself do a cook along with you a virtual show so you can learn directly from moi Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to share. Flexitarian Chef, have a happy, healthy, and wealthy day again. Ciao. Stay happy. There you go.